watching News 8. Legendary Tonight Show band leader Doc Severinsen is coming to Rochester. He will be here on Wednesday, April 17th at 7.30 at the Greece Performing Arts Center. Part of a big show coming up with the debut of the Sonic Era Jazz Orchestra as well. Here to tell us all about it is the founder of the Sonic Era Jazz Orchestra, Carl Stabnow. Carl, great to have you in studio. Wonderful to be here. Well, let's start with the man behind us, Doc Severinsen. Uh, it's special anytime Doc comes to Rochester. Oh, absolutely. He's a legendary performer known from The Tonight Show. We're very fortunate to be able to have him here. He's got a trumpet in his hands. You know, we think about him as the band leader, but he's a, he's a world-class trumpet player, too. Oh, right? he is. He's, he's incredible. You know, his instrument is trumpet. His personality is colorful, too. You can see the attire that he wears. It'll be a great show. And he's 91 years old. Uh, Turning 92 this year. Or yes. perhaps 91 years young. He's still got a lot of pep in his step, doesn't he? Oh, he does. And you know what was interesting was uh, I was talking with Jeff Tyzik, who will be conductor for this show. Yeah. And Doc is particularly excited about this because he normally is an orchestral performer. He gets in front of orchestras now and has his show. Mm -hmm. um, this is very unique because we have him as part of a big band, which is going to pull out all of his Tonight Show music, things that he's been excited about doing. And I've been getting phone calls back and forth saying, can we do this, can we do that? We're going to pull out all the stops for this. Okay, and the Sonic Era Jazz Orchestra uh, making its debut that night. Tell us about the idea behind this and how you've pulled this uh, assemblage of talent together. Absolutely, and Sonic Era Jazz Orchestra, brand new this year. It's a community, I want to say a community group because all the members have ties to Rochester or Western New York, mm -hmm. um, but we have people coming in from Buffalo, Syracuse, people who were born in the area who live in New York City, Los Angeles, flying in specially for this show. You can't do a show like this without support from great community partners. I know in this case that's especially true. Yes, and we're very, very fortunate to get to uh, partner with Jazz 90.1, who's going to produce this show with us. Um, Simcona Electronics, our presenting sponsor. Without businesses like them, we wouldn't be able to do shows of this magnitude. Um, we also have Hyatt Hotels, uh, Hyatt Regency downtown, who's going to be the official hotel sponsor, Doc Severinsen. And kind of a special acknowledgement to the CGI Rochester International Jazz Festival. Um, one of the interesting, you know, storylines from that is many of these musicians who grew up in Rochester were part of the festival, played in it with different high school groups, community groups, mm -hmm. have gone on to study music, and the Rochester Jazz Festival has a scholarship fund that has funded a lot of the education for these musicians as they've gone on. I was a recipient, um, a number of the other members. So you can kind of see this come full circle as they return to town. Now, I know you want that place packed, the Greece Performing Arts mm -hmm. Center, on the 17th. Going to get a sneak preview of the Sonic Hero Jazz Orchestra the night before. Yes, absolutely. Just announced this week uh, we will be having a kind of informal jam session, music night at the Hyatt the night before, uh, Tuesday the 16th at 8 p.m., Craft Barn Kitchen. It's free, open to the public. Come in, meet the members of the band, hear some great music. Carl, it's great uh, having you in studio. Good luck with this uh, incredible show you've Thank got you. planned. Your chance to check it out, a unique opportunity here in our community. Again, it's coming up on Wednesday, April 17th at 7.30. Your tickets this way. Call 585-281-4893 or go to sonicera.com. We're sharing that on our site as well at rochesterfirst.com.